completes my weekly blushing obsessions. I hope you guys all had a wonderful, wonderful week. I have some great products to share with you, so I'm just gonna jump right in. The first product that I wanna talk about is this Fake Bake 5 Minute Mousse. I picked this up at Cosmoprof. They have like a whole line of their Fake and Bake, and I'm a big fan of this line. I just really like the color that it gives, and um, I wore it a lot last summer. But anyways, this one's a 5 Minute Mousse, which is basically you get an instant tan right away and you can put your clothes on after five minutes and you are out the door. Now, I do have it on right now so you can see the color is actually very like a natural golden tan. I don't know, it just it suits my my skin tone if that makes any sense. But this stuff is very, very interesting to me. It does come with two gloves um, like this. The one thing that I like about this product is that it's not messy at all. So I'm going to just put a glove on. I should actually go get a towel ready. I'll be right back actually. I wasn't prepared for this. Okay, so I'm back. So I'm just, I just have one glove on. Usually I do wear both of them. But what I do is I'll shake it up really, really, really good. And then just see how this stuff, it's very interesting. It's like a very light, almost like shaving cream I guess for like a, a men's shaving cream but look at how fast look at how fluffy that is and eventually I should have actually wore my other glove but eventually when you rub it in together it just evaporates it's it's very very interesting and so far I've been really liking it just to get that instant color and I noticed even washing it off the next day it still leaves um, it's not as dark as you would to apply it the first day, but even on the second day, I still notice it on. So that's really good. I, I probably will maybe just use this about once a week right now, just to kind of give me some color, but I like it because I could put my clothes on right away. The only thing is I would probably wait longer than five minutes because I did put my clothes on after five minutes and I did notice that it did transfer on to some of my clothes. So I would maybe give it a good 15 minutes before I would even put on anything just to be on the safe side But I like it because you don't feel it on your skin either. It's uh, not sticky It doesn't feel like you have anything on like it literally just feels like air like I don't know I can't really explain it. That's the best way I can explain it But um, I recommend it if you're looking for something that's an instant tan and it wasn't very expensive I paid around I think it was 17 or 18 dollars for this. So I thought that was a really really great deal Okay, moving on. That's a little bit messy. I hope it doesn't get everywhere, but you can see like my gloves are completely clean. I don't even have to replace these gloves. So that's another neat thing about this product is that it's mess free. Okay, so let's move on to some nail polishes actually. I was in Walmart near my, near my, where I live, and I noticed that Milani brought out their new nail polishes. I know this came out a while ago, but here in Canada, we get everything a little bit later. And I actually didn't think that we would actually get any of these here. Um, we can order online. I just normally don't order stuff online because I like to see it first before I end up buying it. But this is their color statement polish. This is in the color Mint Crush. And I do have it on my nails today. I did post a picture on Instagram. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, you really should because I post on there all the time. So I just think it's a really pretty minty, mint blue shade. So it is blue, because this one here, the, the next one that I want to share with you, is I believe this is by the Hawaii, Hawaii collection again. And this is called That's Hilarious. And it's just an, another green minty color that I really, really like. So um, I'm not sure how I feel about the formula of this yet, but I do really like the color. And uh, yeah, so these are my two favorite polishes at the moment, uh, which is kind of surprising because I'm not normally into these like pastel colors, but for something different and a change, this is actually really nice and I really love the Hawaii line. This next product, I'm kind of unsure about it. I like it, but I don't love it. And it's the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Illuminator that just came out. I, I think I was just expecting a little bit more. I really like the packaging. The packaging that is really nice. It's the same every single year. And inside it has a really nice print to it. I think it's just the way it shows up on my skin tone. It doesn't show up as much as I would like it to. So I think somebody with 
fair, fair skin would actually benefit to this product a little bit more than somebody that is my skin tone or darker. I just don't feel like it has a really good color payoff. It's it's a very very subtle highlight for my skin tone and I feel like it's it's just more like a light reflecting highlight if, if you know what I mean like I don't know I guess that's the best way I can describe it but I'm happy I have it I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more but I thought I would just give you guys my overall thoughts on it because I know it's been sold out I think now it's back in stock but I don't I just want to say that I don't feel like you need to like rush out and go get this product so I think there's a lot of other highlighters that are a lot better than this one so which leads me to my next highlight that I cannot stop wearing and it's by Makeup Forever the Sculpting Duo this is in 01 it's just a really pretty champagne pink color and it is stunning on I just I just can't put it down so there it is right there I, I mean I'm not a big fan of the bronzing powder but I actually use it as a blush and it actually looks looks nice I think it looks really natural it doesn't look if I were to bronze with it I look kind of orangey but if I use it as a blush and use like my deeper like like say for instance my Bobbi Brown bronzer then it looks okay but yeah definitely wouldn't bronze with this but I just the highlighter itself is just beautiful and I can't put it down so that is it right there look how pretty that is oh, I just love that one Okay, for blush, I have two blushes that I've been wearing nonstop all week. I'll just like rotate or depending on what type of look that I'm doing. So this first one is by Victoria's Secret. Here in Canada, they actually don't have the makeup in store anymore. They actually got rid of all the makeup. I don't know if you can purchase it online, but it's actually the shipping to Canada is very expensive. So I'm happy I picked this up before they took out all their makeup. And this is their baked duo in starlet so there it is right there it's just a nice plummy pink peachy color <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at describing colors it's it's not good but there it is right there and this paired with that highlight that I just showed you is excellent so there's there it is and I mean, these do have a lot of sheen to them, but I don't feel like it emphasizes emphasizes my pores at all. So I really like this blush. I think I have one more from the Victoria's Secret line that is a little bit softer and maybe a little bit more on the peachier side, but this is really, really pretty on and I've been enjoying it this week. Sorry, my son came down the stairs. So if you hear him in the background, I do apologize. I'm almost done. So uh, the next one is this blush right here by NARS. This is our dual intensity blush in Panic. And it has a really pretty, like, a hot pink color and this, like, orangey color. And I've been wearing both of them. Not wet, but I've been using them dry because I feel like this is very pigmented, pigmented on its own. So I am wearing the... No, I'm wearing the pink one today. So I'll just swatch this for you. So that's just one swatch. So it's pretty pigmented. And then here is the other color. It is so pretty for the summertime, you guys. I definitely recommend this one. It is the most pigmented out of all the blushes in this line, but here they are right there. If I were to wear these wet, it's gonna be pretty vibrant on me, so. Last thing to talk about is some lip products. The first one is by Liz Watte. Now, Liz Watte came out with a whole new line. I believe it's the Matte Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. And th she came out with a very similar formula from one of her collections so I believe it might be kind of the same formula just different packaging but I love these lip these lipsticks they do last a really long time they stain your lips really nice they feel comfortable and you know how some liquid lipsticks are really really liquidy and you have to be really careful when you apply them I don't feel like you have to be careful with these ones I mean you still do but um, I just like the way they apply a little bit better than some of those liquid lipsticks this is in the color sweet kiss this was the more neutral pink in that line so something that I can wear every day because these are not cheap <laughs> I believe they're around like the $27 mark which mm, it's a little bit pricey for me in my opinion but I do like them I like the formula I love the color I do own one more in this line it's like a nice 
it's a nice pretty coral color. I haven't wore that one yet, but yeah, I just thought I would mention that one and it does stain the lips really nicely. They don't leave my lips like gross and chappy. So I really like that one. Next is a combination that I've been loving and I don't know what it is. I really like a pinky coral lip. So this is the combo that I have been wearing this week. This is a lip liner by Annabelle. Um, this is called Corel, which is a nice coral color. And I'm very surprised about these lip liners. They actually last a really long time. So for a drugstore, I think they're really nice. And I like this color. So I've been taking that and then I've been putting this Maybelline. This is from their Bloom collection. I don't know if that's the full name, but this is called Peach Poppy 745. And it's a nice peachy pink shade. These are a lot sheer than I thought they were going to be because most of the lipsticks that I have in this line are pretty, you know, pretty pigmented. But this lipstick is buildable. So the more you apply, the deeper the color is. So these two pair together are just really, really pretty. And then I've been taking this gloss. So what I'll do is I won't apply this gloss on right away because this does have like a little, little gives off a little shine. So I'll keep this with me or in my purse and I will just top it off throughout the day. And I love it. It's very moisturizing on the lips. I like the way they feel. The only downfall in this gloss is that it doesn't last a really long time on your lips, but I still like it. I guess it doesn't bother me too much. This is the Dior lip gloss. I don't know if they reformulated their lip glosses or if it's a whole new line. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments down below. But this is in the color 468. I know Tara Lynn picked one up as well. And I believe she picked up the same color. So that's why I got this color because she said she really liked it and that it reminded her of the NARS Turkish Delight, which I don't own, but eventually like one day I really do want to own that gloss. And uh, yeah, it's just a nice soft pinky color. I'll apply some on my lips because I already have some on my lips, so. There it is. I just like the shine that it gives. It feels really nice and soft. I like the applicator on it. That's really nice too. And I like the packaging. So this combo together just makes the perfect pinky peachy coral lip. And the last lipstick is by Stila. This is the um, their Color Bombs, Color Statement Bombs. There's no name on the packaging, so I'm not 100% sure. I will have everything listed down below. But this is in the, this is in the color Meg. I really like the packaging. It's an, in a nice, pretty rose gold, and the the tube is gold as well, and it has the Stila written in the front. And today I just noticed that it has. A little tiny mirror on the end of it so I thought that was really cute I had no idea that it had a little mirror so yeah this is in the color Meg it's just a really nice pretty soft pink a nudie soft pink so that is that right there I'm actually wearing it today underneath the gloss as well but I do have I think I'm wearing NYX natural lip liner underneath so yeah maybe I'll just swatch it a little bit more for you guys so yeah, that's as deep it's gonna go on me, but there it is right there. I like the color. They did have two other shades, and then they have their their regular line of colors, which I do own a few of them as well. I just really like the way these feel. Now this does have a mint feeling to the lips, and you can definitely it def it well it it smells minty as well. So if you don't really like that, then I might not recommend these. But it doesn't bother me. The mint. It, it doesn't last very long on my lips, and then I don't really notice it after. 10 minutes of wear so I really like that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys this week now the next video that I will have up is on products that I want to start using a little bit more so be on a lookout for that it just gives me a chance to kind of go through my my makeup and start using some products that I kind of neglect that I really do love so yeah that is pretty much it I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend whatever you guys are doing please be safe and I will see you guys in my next video bye